Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. Shali Godby here, the owner of Stamping Smiles, and I'm about to demonstrate for you my May customer thank you card, and I'm going to use this pattern from the retiring, not retired, but retiring, Paisley Petals Designer Series paper. It's a simple card, but very elegant, and I think elegant, um, simple is often very elegant. And so I'm going to use my Sizzix Big Shot to do some embossing. And so I'm going to need my multi-purpose platform on tab one, a cutting plate on the bottom, and I'm using the square lattice embossing folder, and I'm going to get all fancy dancy. I'm going to do two at one time, because if you have to do a lot of cards like I do for my customer thank you cards, you know, with 3,000 pounds of pressure, we can do two of these at one time and, and save ourselves some time. We're busy women. We love to send handmade cards, but we don't want to spend a ton of time doing them. So my card stock, the two sheets, are in my folder. Place that on the cutting plate folder with card stock, cutting plate. And let's go ahead and crank this through. Like I said, 3,000 pounds of pressure is a lot. There we go. It's a little bit tight, maybe, because of that second piece. But who cares when you get two pieces at one time? Oh, yay. <laughs> All right, so let me set aside my Big Shot and finish assembling my card for you. <clears throat> and so because I did the texturing, I'm going to need to use mini glue dots. I have my Whisper White piece of cardstock opening from the bottom. Just a different fold. You know, just it adds a little bit of elegance. And so then I have my mini glue dots. And this is a container, not a dispenser, so you need to completely remove them. And I'm going to take the cardstock to the mini glue dots and press down. And that one, that's a little over. Here we go. You really don't want to touch them it'll take away from the extreme stickiness that we like. You know, I love the snail adhesive and use it all the time. But whenever you add texture like this did, um, the snail just isn't, if the, if the two pieces of cardstock are flat, it lays beautifully flat. But if not, it just doesn't have that same hold. So the mini glue dots do. And now, and I did more than normal because it is a little warped from going through there. And I, I want this to just lay nice and flat and look also oh lovely for you. Can you place your stamp of order with me in May? You're going to get one of these cards in the mail, in your mailbox. How fun is that? Not your email, in your mailbox. All right, isn't that pretty? So simple already with the white against it. And then I'm going to take my postage stamp punch and punch out some squares. And we can do this upside down so we don't waste very much. You can see I'm right there. I can move over just a little hair. Isn't that nice? Instead of trying to stamp blind, you don't have all of that waste. Come over just a little bit. I already had two done, so I'm going to do two for you. I'm going to use four all together on this card. And then again, I need my mini glue dots because this is textured. <clears throat> So one in each corner. And I picked the white base because look how the white is picking up the white from my designer paper. Or I mean from, yeah, the designer paper. Paisley petals. And I'm not pressing down yet so I can be happy with my position before I do. Looking good. A couple more. So I will be using a lot of mini glue dots for this month's card, but isn't this just turning out to be so incredibly elegant in its simplicity? All right. I like to think of it as simple elegance. Not simple, but simple elegance. We just need to get our placement where it looks even. Oh, that's looking really pretty, don't you think? So now I'm happy that I can press everywhere. And then I already tied a bow from the... Now this is retiring too, the Whisper White 1 quarter inch grosgrain ribbon. They're replacing it with stitched 
and, and with the white stitching down the center, it'll add a touch to it, but it's not going to make a whole lot of difference with the white on the white. So again, mini glue dots for that good hole, and then right here. And there we have a simple, now that could be a note card. For me, this is a thank you card. A simple card um, that's so pretty, but it's the elements that made such a difference. The embossing here, the white here, pulling it out, and the pretty postage stamp, and of course, our ribbon. If you'd like to get this card in, in your mailbox, go ahead and place your uh, May stamp of order with me. The address is on the screen right here, and I'll have it at the end in a clickable link below the YouTube video. So go ahead and place your order with me, and then you'll have a reminder. Of course, you can use different designer paper, too. The Paisley Petals designer paper is retiring, but place your order with me, because I just, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you, and I show you that, and this is just one way, with a hand stamp card in your mailbox. So this is Shelly Godby teaching you how to send hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.